Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, before I begin, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please click the like button. So this opening clip here is from a past video that I did. Um, the video was called What's in Your Tackle Box? And it's basically the physical preparation that Haley and I go through before any fishing trip. So we'll prepare our rods, our reels, our tackle box our bibs, our boots, our dry top, and basically anything else that we'll need on a fishing trip. So this coming Sunday, April 18th, Haley and I were invited on a private charter leaving out of Sheeps at Bay, Brooklyn. So after all the gear is done, and since we're only three days out, we can start the mental preparation for the fishing that we're gonna do this Sunday. So I've been told in the past that I go a little overboard with the whole weather and conditions thing. But it's just something that stuck with me since my surf casting days. All my surf casting mentors always told me, keep a logbook, record everything that you possibly can. Moon phases, currents, tides, wind direction, water temperature, air temperature, what you were using. And um, this just stuck with me throughout the years. I don't know how important all this is for boat fishing, but it's just a ritual that I've gone through since my surf fishing days. So the first thing I look at, look for is moon phases. And so in the Google search, I'll type in Stardate moon phases. And it brings me to this website, stardate.org. And so it shows you moon phases from now to eternity. That's the good thing about moon phases, easily predictable. So for this Sunday, we have a half moon. And that's like the perfect moon, in my opinion, for boat fishing. Perfect meaning... The current is the weakest, um, so a full moon and a new moon produce faster currents, half moon, not so much. The other good thing about this site is that you can scroll through and choose different months, different years. So here you see October 2021, you can start planning your days for fall blackfish. So after you have the moon phase figured out, then you want the marine conditions. So in Google, I do a search for marine weather New York great. And I put the word great in there because in the past, this zone was called a Great Lakes zone. But, but Great Lakes didn't even come out. It was just the Long Island Sound and then the South Shore. And so it has the Western Sound, the Eastern Sound, and then the South Shore all the way from the New York Bight to Montauk. And so I click the dark purple area because that's a New York bite. And so for this Sunday, it's saying northwest around five knots, seas around two feet. And at night, it's west winds five to ten. So basically, we have a westerly wind for this whole weekend. Now, since we're leaving out of Sheep's at Bay, I also kind of cross. I also kind of want to like cross check with the Jersey weather. So for Jersey, I type in marine weather nj phila like philadelphia and the first hit when this is the philadelphia mount holly zone and when you click on that this is the f this is the map that comes out and so this is in my opinion the most useful so i click the top farthest area and that's the area for sandy hook and so if you're leaving out of sheeps at bay and the captain wants to cross over into jersey Chances are this area's forecast is probably very accurate for where you're going to be. So this area on Sunday, you know, like the other one, it says west winds, not northwest. West winds, five knots, becoming south in the afternoon, but still two feet or less. And then at night, it's southwest. So here also, it's a westerly wind. So basically, from this, we know that we have westerly light wind conditions for Sunday. So once I've checked the moon phases and the weather forecast from NOAA, then I go to my phone and I have this app downloaded on my phone. It's called Windy, W-I-N-D-Y. And since I'm fishing out of Sheeps at Bay, I pulled up the forecast for Sandy Hook. Um, this app actually can tell you general conditions all over the world. But since I'm sailing out of Sheeps at Bay, I pulled up Sandy Hook. And so, you know, this is the forecast for Sunday, 18th of April. 
And um, as you go down, the first line is the time throughout the day. So from 2 in the morning, 5 in the morning, it's every 3 hours. The next line shows the wind condition. And then the next line is the, the compass heading that wind is coming from. Then you have the wind speed, the general wind, and then the gusts. And below that, by the check mark, that's this application's trust score. So the closer that number is to 10, the um, more confidence it has in the forecast that it's giving. Below that is the temperature, the air temperature, not the water temperature, but the air temperature for the day, and then the barometric pressure. And then below that is precipitation. So that day will have clouds, but it's not raining. The next line is the um, current direction. So the direction the current is coming from, and then below that is the speed at which the current is traveling. And below that is the wave height. So it's one foot waves, you know, pretty much around one feet all throughout the day. And then the arrows in there is the direction the swells will be coming from. And then below that is the period in between the swells. And below that is the tide for that area. So basically throughout this trip, we'll start with the incoming, go to high, and then fish part of the outgoing before we come home. So this is for Sandy Hook for Sunday. And just in case you're fishing Atlantic City on Saturday, um, I have this pulled up for you. So Saturday, the weather's a little rougher. Like as you can see, you have a more of a northwest wind from 10 with gusts to you know 15 to 20 throughout the day. The trust score is pretty good. So I feel like this forecast is pretty accurate. But like you see farther down, you know, you're going to have more of a current, you know, the current speed's going to be a little higher. I don't know how accurate that part is, but, you know, anyway, because the wind is harder here or the wind is blowing harder, the boat will sit tighter. And obviously the, because, you know, it's, it's not the same area, but the tides are basically the same. You have incoming for the beginning of the trip. You're going to hit high slack in the middle of the trip. And the trip will end with the, the tide going out. So once again, thank you for coming back to my channel and checking out this video. If you like the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. Also, my next video will be a recap of Haley and my charter this coming Sunday. Um, hopefully we get good footage and hopefully we get to share it with you. Hope to see you guys soon and uh, tight lines.